let's talk about four common carnivore diet mistakes because guess what we all make them welcome back to my channel i am sylvia and i'm a carnivore diet coach mistake number one not giving carnivore diet enough time to do its job i know you all have seen those beautiful people with beautiful bodies in their swimming costumes giving testimonials to the carnivore diet how quickly it worked and how it solved all of their problems and somehow it doesn't work for you but oftentimes when i talk to my client and i ask them how long have you been on the carnivore diet and i hear two weeks three weeks four weeks <laughs> a month and a half that simply is not enough for most of us whether you like it or not you have to give yourself realistic expectations if you are over the age of 40 you have a lot of mileage than somebody in their 20s which is a fancy way of saying you are a lot older your body took a lot more beating wash yet maybe you have taken some medication some prescription medication maybe more than one especially if it is for a chronic condition things like an immunosuppressant your body will need a lot more time to heal that's just the way it is and there is no work around it and no shortcuts so if you are four weeks into the carnivore diet and feeling awful that is normal most of us at four weeks still going through transition symptoms and this is very common going to no carb or very low carb diet that means that you have the so-called keto flu so your body is uh, switching from the carbohydrate metabolism to ketogenic metabolism so instead of using glucose you are using ketones for energy you might have a runny nose headaches brain fog uh, lack of motivation it is all normal and oftentimes goes beyond four weeks so don't give up on the carnivore diet just yet especially if you've never tried uh, the ketogenic diet in the past that keto flu is terrible most people don't like it and for a lot of us it goes way beyond four weeks so don't worry about it keep it going mistake number two over supplementing on the carnivore diet it is not so infrequent that when i coach my clients they actually have an expectation that i will uh, recommend supplements along with the diet for them and to be honest most of the time it isn't necessary to supplement when you are going on the carnivore diet especially if you are trying to fix uh, gut issues in this case you are much better off if you lay off all the supplements at least for the time being I'm not against supplements, I think they have their place, but just as the name uh, indicates, they're there to supplement and not to replace a healthy, wholesome diet. And I do have a video about it, like why supplements may not be conducive, especially if you are trying to fix gut permeability. Um, I will link that video in the description box, check it out. I won't go into details in uh, this video. But if you are trying to improve leaky gut, supplements oftentimes are not your friend. Now, if you really need to use a supplement because let's say half of your office is sneezing and coughing and you don't want to pick up that cold and you want to have some vitamin C with zinc and vitamin D3, go for it, do it for two to three weeks and then stop. I would stay away though from all those antioxidants, anti-aging, miraculous pills that some compound was found in some exotic area of the earth and now it's in your capsule and if you take it, it will take care of all of your problems. I would not touch this once your health will be better off and so will your wallet mistake number three quitting carnivore diet because you are histamine intolerant that might sound counterintuitive in the beginning but you can actually reverse histamine intolerance with the carnivore diet what you have to do is buy meats that are not aged rebuild your healthy gut microbiome fix your low stomach acid and then your body will get rid of the bacteria that actually multiplies in your gut and produces histamine to which your body reacts 
Once those critters are gone, then your histamine intolerance should be gone as well and you'll be able to introduce a lot more variety of meats and dairy to your diet than when you do it in the beginning. And mistake number four, quitting carnivore diet because it didn't work for you but you didn't try it without dairy. That's right. If you have a lot of autoimmune issues, sometimes one or two going all at the same time, and especially if you have joint issues, if you go on the carnivore diet dairy-free, you are likely to succeed. I know dairy is an animal product and perfectly suitable for the carnivore diet, but those of us with autoimmunity do so much better if we do carnivore diet without dairy. Some time ago, I was coaching somebody that was pretty much uh, dairy-free on the carnivore diet for a few months and she couldn't get rid of the joint pain. And she didn't think a teaspoon of heavy cream in her favorite morning coffee was something that could prevent her from recovering from joint pain. And guess what? I persuaded her to remove that teaspoon of heavy cream and it took a week for her joint pain to resolve. I know it sounds crazy, but it works in so many different uh, cases. There's just a teaspoon of heavy cream and she couldn't have it. And once she stopped, all the joint pain went away. All right, so these are my four mistakes that people usually make when going on the carnivore diet. Send this video to anybody that started on a carnivore diet and is about to give up because of one of these four reasons. Um, just last a little longer, remove dairy and see what happens. Carnivore diet works for so many different health issues. If you haven't yet, subscribe, hit that notification bell and I will see you in my next video. Bye!